What's happening guys? Back here with another video. Uh, on the, in our last video we did a Dom's Charger the, from the Fast and Furious film. Uh, in this one I'm going to go in and oh, while we're on the same topic as Dom, we're going to go and do his RX-7 from the first Fast and Furious film. Now if you haven't watched the first Fast and Furious film and only the recent ones, Dom did actually have an RX-7. Um, in one of the first races in the film you actually see the rx7 before the charger uh, which i find ironic because people know J uh, don more for his charger than his rx7 so we're going to go straight into there you want to go to the auto show you want to go straight across to mazda when you find it um you want to go straight across to mazda and you want to get the rx7 you want the 1997 uh, rx7 you want to purchase that now, the livery, you're better off putting it on now than later. Um, what you want to do is you want to uh, click in the search bar, um, description. If you type in DOM, there should be a selection come up uh, of J with RX-7 liveries that is similar to the one that he had in the actual movie. Uh, so when they load, uh, usually I just find the most popular one and then you know how accurate it is so this seems to be the most popular one so I'm gonna go with this one and download it you guys can do the same right so that's the livery out of the way that's a library you want uh, for it to actually look like the charger it, sorry the RX-7 so the next step involves you going in and upgrading and tuning the car um, so all this bit now. Uh, now we're going to try and make it as accurate as possible. They're not going to have exactly every part that he had on um, to the T, but you know, we can make it as accurate as we can. So, with a front bumper, um, for me, the one that uh, suits the RX7 most um, to how Dom had it. Probably this one, um, the C West one that uh, looks most alike. Yeah, same again, C West bumper and side skirts looks to be the C West as well. Right, so you want this, the full C West body kit, and then for your wing, you want to get the the Forza Horizon standard wing. Okay, so you want to purchase that. And then the next step involves going over to the wheels and changing the wheels. Now, Dom had some very retro looking 90s wheels, which personally, they scream out 90s in every way, shape or form. Uh, so, uh, let me just have a look for a minute. They should be in the specialised wheels. Just gotta scroll from Forza Horizon recently just pulled an update out where uh, they've put loads of wheels uh, and extra stuff. Uh, so uh, trying to find these wheels. Uh, it's these ones. These are the ones that Dom had on the nearest that I can find. Right, so then you put wheels on. change the width of the wheels and then you want to go over to the suspension setup and you want to lower it on race suspension so yeah you want to buy that once that's upgraded save it and then you want to exit now remember guys if you want to see one of these cars comment in the section below let me know what movie car you'd like me to do i don't just do the fast and furious cars i can do any car you need or want so right we're back out now and as you can see this is to the nearest point that we can get dom's rx7 if you go on google images you can see that how similar it looks it brings me nostalgia. I can remember watching the fast, the old Fast and Furious film, the first one when I was a kid, and just loving this street race when he put this up against Brian's Eclipse. 
It was, I can remember it was just so iconic and so good. So yeah, guys, uh, that's going to end today's video. Uh, if you like, did like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channels. This is Substantially signing out. Bye.